Hello, you wonderful people. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Just me today, and I'm going to be sharing some top Canva hacks and features that will help you create better, more beautiful content in less time. Let's dive in. Now, the first one has to do with one of the most popular types of reels and TikToks and shorts and all the short form content that you see out there. And that's when you have B-roll clips that are synced to audio. So enter Beat Sync by Canva. This feature will allow you to automatically sync clips to an audio. This will save you so much time when it comes to actually editing an interesting piece of content because you don't have to worry about syncing the beats and cutting and splicing yourself. Let me show you what it looks like. What you would do is enter real so you can start up a fresh template and then you would navigate over to either upload your own footage or where your b-roll footage already Already exists then select the clips and add it to the timeline in the order that you want then you just head over to audio and then you would actually go in and choose a beat that you like I already had one that I used like in an ad for a client so I'm just choosing this one and you would drag to where you want the audio to be then you can trim the footage to where you know that you'll want to make sure is included in the video and then head over to beat sync so when you select the audio beat sync will come up at the top here you will just tap beat sync click sync now and you'll also see that it's displaying the beat markers and it's going to start clipping the videos to specific parts of the beat how easy is that look how simple that is and then you have a reel that is synced to the beat now you might be wondering can i use my own audio yes you can all you would need to do is head back over into the upload section and then you're going to tap audio you'll see if you already have songs uploaded they'll already be there but you can also go in and actually upload a song of your choice but one thing to consider though is if you are using audio and uploading audio to canva make sure that you own it we use epidemic sound they are amazing i'll leave a link to epidemic sound in the description box below any post that we have on instagram is typically if it's not like a speaking audio it's going to be an audio from epidemic epidemic sound because the beats are fire. They just are like so modern. Whatever they have going on over there is yeah, really, really good. Like some songs you want to even just play on Spotify. They're really, really good. So with that, you would do the same process, trim the clips however you like it. And Canva is going to be able to pull the beat markers from that and sync it to your reel. Now on the topic of creating Instagram reels that are beautiful and that don't take a lot of time to make, Let's talk about Magic Design. Now this feature is so cool. The whole Magic Studio Suite in Canva is incredible. And that's why I really wanna point out some of these that will make producing content easier. This feature will create an Instagram Reel for you. So all you need to do is upload the content and let it know what the reel is about. Let me show you. So again, we'll start off fresh and we'll create a new design, which will be an Instagram reel and magic design will likely come up at the top here, but you can also search for it as well. All you need to do is click through upload the video files that you want to include in the reel or images depending on what you have and then you'll give it a description of what the video is that you want to create so for us we're just going to go with cafes for the theme for the rest of this video and i'm going to say that i want to promote my local coffee shop as a place to come and work and have a good vibe so once we've added those files in it's going to generate a video and it's even going to generate copy for you that will then sync to music have transitions have copy and you know cute little designs as well you can then go in and make the necessary adjustments that would fit your brand so for us like having gems and all this stuff wouldn't work for high season and not for my fake cafe here uh and then of course we'll want to change maybe some of the fonts or the colors as well but you're able to do that and then just hit export and you are good to go the next canva feature that you need to know about is one that will help you actually create copy or pull quotes 
for your designs. Now, this is the magic right feature. It is awesome. And all you need to do is enter prompts in the exact same way you would with chat GPT, but you can do everything inside the Canva app. So for example, as a cafe, I might want to pull quotes that would inspire people to want to drink coffee. And all I need to do is enter the prompt and ask Canva to give me those quotes and they'll automatically load. These are things that you can easily use in your posts. And in this video where I talked about how to create 30 Instagram posts fast, and I showed how to create multiple reels and how to create multiple stories using the bulk feature, I did touch on this a little bit more, so I don't want to be redundant here. I highly recommend that you go and check out that video next. The next feature in Magic Media is so special because it acts as an illustrator for you in a way, no design skills necessary. So if you ever need beautiful backgrounds or you just need patterns or any of these designs, you can just prompt the AI to create these designs for you. So for example, with my cafe, if I want to create a beautiful like say coffee themed background for a post i'm going to head over to apps and i'm going to select magic media and then i'm going to in the theme of my cafe ask it to create a background image of coffee beans that i can use it'll then just pull up options completely made based on my prompt and i'm able to select what I like. And if I find that there's something that I like, but I would like to generate a few more, you can choose to generate a new set of images based on the one that you like, and it'll create new similar options for you. And if you're looking for something a little bit more realistic, you could do the same thing by giving it a prompt, but you just want to choose photo as the style instead. And that'll give you something that looks closer to reality, like say a beautiful latte, which you technically should make yourself if it was a cafe. So, you know, use this where it makes sense, but not to replace something that you should be selling because then that's kind of like fraud. So be mindful of that. Now it's no secret that Instagram is the new business card, right? And with that, it's important that your profile is on point. And a lot of that also has to do with the visuals and how you present yourself. The thought behind this is that we really want to make it impossible for people to not want to follow us. So when we use all these tactics that we talk about to bring them over to your Instagram profile, we want them to convert. And one of the ways to do this is with a visually appealing feed does not need to be perfect, but it should look professional. It should look like it is well thought out and a great feature that Canva introduced to help you plan your feed is an Instagram grid planner. Super simple. All you need to do is head over into Canva, type in Instagram grid specifically, click templates and then scroll down and find the Canva creative studio version of that grid. Use the template update your profile so that it makes sense. So you can put in, I'm doing the cafe in this situation. And then I'm also going to maybe manifest, you know, some follower numbers here. So let's say we're at 80 K now, you know, it's all about affirmations. And then you're just going to upload your images or the cover photos for what would be like a reel and then drag and drop and plan your grid that way. It's so simple. Now you have a full visual of what your last nine posts will be so that you can make sure your feed is cohesive. And of course, when you're creating your feed, always make sure to be mindful of spacing, not having images that look exactly the same beside each other. We did do a whole video on how to create an Instagram feed that makes people want to follow you. I'll leave it up here and in the description box for you below. Now, the next Canva hack that you need to know about is again in the line of quality. So making sure that the images and the visuals that we present are high quality so that it encourages people to want to follow us. They take us seriously. They know we're professional and we're about our business and they will not know this if you have blurry images. Okay. You need to have high quality, clean images on your feed. So a feature that you can use if for some reason you had like a, a photo that was older or you screenshot something and you just can't find the original is the enhancer feature in Canva. All you would need to do is head over to the apps again, type in enhance, select enhancer, 
upload your file and then let it do its thing. If you have someone in the photo, you can also choose enhance image and that'll detect any faces and enhance them as well. But in the situation, we don't have it. So what I'm going to do is just drop the new photo here so you can see the comparison in the resolution. And it definitely cleaned that image up. And I've seen some other versions as well. Now, if you're ever creating content and you're unsure about the content you're putting out and you want us to actually look at that for you, we have our membership channel where we do content reviews in addition to a bunch of other stuff. All the details on our membership will be in the description box below, but our members send us their images. They send us their calendars, their strategies, all that stuff. And we'll look at it and provide live feedback in our bi-weekly Q and A's. So if that sounds like something that would be helpful for you, you can find those details in the description box below. Another thing worth mentioning is that some of the features that I've shared today are Canva Pro features also have a link to that in the description box below. Cannot recommend Pro enough. We've had it for, it has to be over five years. However long Pro has existed, we've had it. It's because there are so many features that it gives you. Specifically, the Magic Studio is so impressive and you'll definitely want to be taking advantage of it. If you think about the small fee that you likely have to pay, it's going to be worth doing that if it's going to save you a ton of time and help you to produce better content that makes people want to follow you and buy from you. That's it for today. Thanks so much for coming back to watch another video. If you want more Canva tips, I just pulled some of the ones that I thought would really help, you know, help you create content that looks better faster. But if you want even more tips and seeing more about the things that we find over in Canva, let us know and we'll definitely create these for you. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. Before you head out, check out this video next. It will be super helpful for you. See you in the next one. Bye.